Yeah. All the pastors debated the word. All the pastors debated the word. Christ debated the word, but you act like a bitch. Literally. Literally. Paul takes precedent, Jesus' law, when he talked to the Samaritan woman at the well, and he says, truly, the day has come, and now has come, where the true believers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. You won't go to Jerusalem to go to no temple. You won't go to this mountain to go to no temple. We're going to worship the Father in spirit. What about the Ark of the Lord? Huh? What about the Ark of the Lord? Where's that? And he said he put it on your heart. Where is the Ark of the Lord? He said he put it on your heart. Is that an idol? What do you mean? The Word of God is not a graven image. I asked the Ark about the Ark. The Ark holds it. So Word the Ark of God no, is, is, is the Ark. Yeah, I know. Is the Ark of God? Is the Ark of the Lord a graven image? Is it here anymore? Does it matter if it's here or not? When it was here, when it was here, the when it was here, what is the graven image? What? Oh fuck out of here, bro. We so don't allow. So it's a, it's a temple. It's a third temple. Because, because you get offended. What about the third temple? You get offended because you hear law, huh? What about the third temple? Is that is that a, is that going to be idolatry? Is that, is that a grave image? What third temple? When the Christ come back and the temple is rebuilt and the and the the temple is reestablished, do you think that's going to happen or what did Christ say? Christ said it's going to happen. Go read go read Revelations twenty and four and what does he say? Because in Revelations twenty and four, I can be whole. Yeah, of course. Hey, what that temple be like? Um, How? It's not going to be made with man's hands. It will go. Oh, wait. No. Oh, wait. It, has, it, has, it has gates. Oh, wait. Oh, it just said that Jerusalem is going to come down from heaven from God. So how is it going to be made with man's hands? I was, I was just about to say, in, in, in the book of Ezekiel, from the 40th gates. chapter all the way to the end, it talks about how we can actually build his measurement on how it to has, build the third courts. temple. It has, it, has, it has sections. So do you believe revelations history? or not? I just got a question. What is the you, answer? Revelations. I answered your you question. I said we believe from Genesis through Revelations. All there's right. your answer. And so, but we're on the book of Ezekiel comes, where it talks about the third temple. You, is the it, third it's temple? It's, it's that part. Because it gives measurements. Are we going to build something goodness. metaphysically or physically? My goodness. My goodness. Oh, so on, I just described it to you. Watch this. So you think that in Revelation 21. I said 20 and 4, actually. Well, you said New Jerusalem. That's come down. Yeah. Yeah. So. So the, the temple, the kingdom that is explained, is it a physical kingdom or a spiritual kingdom? It's spiritual, obviously. Okay. So what are the points you're talking about New Jerusalem coming down from heaven? So you know what I'm describing, what I'm describing is that when law comes and it is superseded by another law, that law is subjugated to that other law. So when wait, Jesus wait, says that, that, wait, so wait, you so, me. Have you ever? No, 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 no. Where, show me in the Bible where it says the law supersedes another law. It says, Behold, I give you a new covenant. Go read John 14. That's, and what is that? Read John 14. He what is says, that? I gave you a new covenant. What is that? Huh? What is that? That's a new covenant. And John 14? You're talking about the comfort argument, brother. I said, He says, I give you a new covenant. You're talking about the comfort. That's right. That's the Holy Spirit. The comforter is not a covenant. He says, I make a new covenant with you throughout it, that it chapter. It doesn't say that there. If, if I may. If I may. Read it, read it, read the you, chapter. You, say, you said that when a new law comes in, it takes precedence over the over a previous law? If, it, if it's directly on point, yes, my sir. Read that. If it says the same thing, you know what you know say? Saying. Like the previous law goes away because something else takes precedence. It doesn't. It doesn't point. take. So let me explain this so you understand. It. Let me explain it with you right. so you understand it. When okay. A explain. new king gets on a throne. Uh huh. We're not talking about a king. We're talking about the word of God and the laws of God. We're not talking about a king. Is so Jesus not a king? That's beside the point. We're yeah, talking about the laws one. of God. Who, who We're talking about the laws of God. Does it not say God? Does who, God not who say? Who told Christ what to say? God. Okay, then. So everything that Christ said comes from God, yes? That's right. Okay, then. So you're trying so, to say that okay, when Christ came and gave a law, it took president or overdid a law that God gave previously. Is that what you're saying? I'm saying when Christ said that the That's temple, a yes or no question. Yes, I'm saying That's what you said. You said I'm yes, saying, read that. I'm saying. Hold on, wait. We're about to read. Oh, my God. Uh, Luke 16, verse 17. Verse 17. Verse 17. 
Yeah. And it is easier for him one and a half yeah, to pass away than one that tittle was. from the law to fail. Okay, so why are you saying that there's something in the law that goes away when Christ Because what he says is that the temple of God, he moved the temple of God. <laughs> so when the temple of that's God, right, he put it in man. He that's what that's man. what Emmanuel means. It means uh -huh. God uh -huh. dwells within that's the physical right. vessels of man. And so, so behold. And so you can see the point that you just said because you made a logical fallacy trying to state that what Christ said oversees or supersedes and does away with what the Most High said previously. That's if, what you if agree. Christ with. just said that the temple of God dwells with man and not in Jerusalem. Uh -huh. It supersedes that in verse of point, can you? I just stick to the point. I didn't change the point. I just said uh -huh. that if Christ says the temple of God is no longer in Jerusalem, uh -huh. don't go there. And in Matthew so 24 and 24. That? Where does it say that? I just you you said where's it, but where's in the Bible? Let's say where's the passage? Yeah, what's the passage? John 4. Okay. 22, what are you talking about? We're going to the Samaritan woman, and the Samaritan woman asked him a question. Where should we worship? My people worship in the wilderness. And you say we should worship in the temple of Jerusalem. Uh -huh. And Jesus says, okay, woman, I'm going to tell you. You know not what you worship, but uh -huh. we know what we worship because salvation is with the Jews, huh? Uh -huh. And then he says, but the moment has come, and now has come, where the true worshipers, true worshipers of God uh -huh. are going to worship him you in spirit wait, and truth. Wait, hold on. He added that. Temple's not there. Temple's not there. Temple's not there. Temple's not there. I'll read it for you. Uh, John 21. 4 and 21, yep. Jesus said unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh when ye shall neither worship in, uh, uh, ye shall neither in this mountain nor yet in Jerusalem worship the Father. That's so you right. worship here or there. That's right. right. Ye worship, ye worship, ye know, uh, know, ye know not. not. <laughs> we know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. Where did it say right. temple? Go back up. What she asked him. She asked him, Where should we worship? But that her question to Jesus was, where should we worship? I didn't ask that. I asked, where does the word temple come in there? Where should we worship is the question. Because it still don't say the temple. Yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm about to jump up to. Our fathers worship in this mountain, uh -huh. and ye shall, and ye say that in Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship. That's right. Where did it say temple at? Don't say temple. Oh, okay. So you inserted it. Where's, okay. the, where's Jerusalem? I know. I know. Where's Jerusalem? It's okay. So, 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 where's Jerusalem? I want to say it's okay. Do I understand prophecy? <laughs> Barely not. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Barely not. Go ahead. What you want? Um, Ezekiel 42. Okay, go ahead. Read it out. Ezekiel 46, verse 2, right? Why do you need your Bible to read the law of God in this argument? So, wait, wait, wait. So we don't look foolish by looking like we added something. I'm going like to read from the Bible. That's why. I mean, you can say I look foolish, wow. but you guys got great wow. images on the Lord. Hold on, he made, he made a great point. Hey, hey, I added a temple. I added temple. But if you go but read it, I added it. If you were from the actual words, you would have never added it. That's on my heart. If it was on your heart, you would have never made that mistake. It's not a mistake. Okay, if it's on your heart, it's plain as well. I'm happy it's you not said a that. Mistake. Mistake. Sorry. No, verse 2. Right? Uh, it says, And the prince shall enter by the way of the porch of, of that gate without, and shall stand by the post of the gate, and the uh, priest shall prepare his burnt offering and his peace offering, and he shall worship at the threshold of the gate. Then he shall go forth, but the gate shall not be shut until he. What is that talking about? We're talking about. I ask you a question. Don't play. What gate is that talking about? Just straightforward. Read it again. You don't know. Bro. <laughs> yeah. You don't know. Read it bro. again. You don't know, bro. Read it again. That's I'll let you read. Go ahead, bro. I thought it was on your heart. It's, oh, it's, it's all this one in my heart. It's not the word he said. <laughs> of course it ain't. Says, of course it ain't. It's okay because this is what Leviticus. Be this humble. Is, well, I am Stop humble. Stop all that bullshit. Read the first, bro. Read the first. Time. Read the first. Hey, Read the first. Take your I know, step, my brother. I ain't know. Take your step, Cause my look, brother. Because you just the gospel is peace. About. The gospel is peace, hey, my he, brother. Give me, give me that. He, he can't Where? The gospel is peace. Where in the gospel is peace? My the, brother no, Paul no, says no, the fruit no, of the spirit no. is the boots of peace. Where's the gospel? Where's the gospel? Oh, hold on, no, the I got it. Burial, I got it. 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 I the gospel is you deny that? Yes, Answer I do. Yes, I do. So what's your question? What did Christ say the gospel is? I don't want to hear first Corinthians 15. First, first Corinthians 15 no, says that. that's not the gospel. That's not the gospel. Hey, 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 I got a law you license. I don't got to argue with men who don't have a license. You have a man's law license. Get your hey, bum ass up the hey, club. Hey, hey. When, the, when the fire and brimstone rain down, down because you don't want to obey. You want to be weak. You want to be weak. All the apostles debated the word. Christ debated the word, but you act like a bitch. That's right.
Hey, literally. Hey, literally. Man. Hey, man. Hey, my God. hey, stand hey, on hey, business. Hey, if I'm wrong, hey, show hey, me I'm wrong. You're wrong. Stand on, stand on I just business. gave you Galatians. Stand on business. Really? I gave you Galatians it's, and I gave you, you did not explain. You did not explain Ezekiel 46. Why? Why are you Ezekiel in this planet? Ezekiel 46 was at a time when the Levitical code was in place. Exactly. Leviticus, 40, Leviticus, Leviticus 46 is in the future. Who's it hasn't the, happened yet. Who is the prince? So you believe that we're about prince? to be offering sacrifices? In the kingdom of heaven? Oh, it's cut. It's cut. It's cut. Yeah, it's cut. It's cut. Jeremiah 33. So we're about to be offering sacrifices. That's right. I asked you that you know the prophecy. Jeremiah 33. Watch this. Let's go. Jeremiah 33 and 15. my brother. No, no, no. You're the wrong one. I'm the wrong one. You're the wrong one. Why would I run from the in word of God? Days, listen, listen, from, listen, I, I, I already, I already know what you're doing. In those days, and at that time, will I cause the branch of righteousness to grow up unto David? Who is that? Mm -hmm. that's, that's, my, that's my father. Huh? That's Christ. Uh -huh. I'm okay. David's offspring. Oh, perfect, huh? perfect. Sure, sure you are. Uh, okay. And he shall execute judgment and righteousness in the land. Yeah. And in those days, Judah shall be saved. Is Judah saved right now? Yes. Judah is saved. saved. And, and Jerusalem is saved. Jerusalem is saved. Jerusalem is under war right now. Okay, okay, that's okay. Go, 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 go. okay cool. So this is future then. So dwell in safety. And in, and this is the name where she, she shall be called the Lord our righteousness. For thus saith the Lord, David shall never want a man to sit on the throne of, of the house of Israel. Neither shall the priests, the Levites, want a man before me to offer burnt offerings and, ki and kindle meat offerings and to do sacrifice continually and what did he say she says what keep, neither what now keep, read that word again what, what neither we, NLT, neither NLT, whoever has that, means, NLT. that means that we shall it's not called, it's called king's english when it says never shall want a man that means it's always going to be there that's Crazy. what it means what? it's a not lack what we, now listen, you know, listen will we keep will we keep the feast of tabernacle like in the kingdom of heaven 33 of course and do that require your do that require your offerings Christ yes is that no. offering. Yes, or yes no. but Christ has been that offering. See, that's why you Christ need to read that offering. Christ, Christ is that offering. That's why, that's you don't believe that Christ is that sacrifice. So I'm we're going to read it again. No, no, we're going to read it again in NLT. So you don't want to read it. No, 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 no. We're going to read the Bible. We're going to read the Bible. Read this then. Watch this. Write this. I'm going to read it again. Jeremiah 33 and verse 17. For this is what the Lord says. David will have a descendant sitting upon the throne of Israel forever. And there will always be Levitical priests to offer burnt offerings and grain offerings and sacrifices to me. And what are those sacrifices? What did Christ tell us those sacrifices are? Wait, 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 wait. What are Levitical priests? Huh? What are Levitical priests? That's every man that breaks a wound child, huh? Because every man and that every breaks man's a wound child. Every man's Levitical priest? That's right. Every man is supposed to be a royal priest. Every man that breaks a womb is supposed to be a little so, uh, a priest so, on the left. So, so, you left bullshit. Let him walk off. Let him walk off. You left, you left California for some bullshit. Hey, wow. hey, hey yo, you know what I'm saying? This dumb man's gonna say he come from the Levitical line of David, but can't separate um, the priest, the Levitical priesthood from the. Every man shall that breaks the womb shall be a royal priest. Under okay, who qualified to be a high priest? Who is exactly. qualified to be a high priest? What lineage you got to come from, dumbass? He playing right. games because it's Levitical. Games. It says Levitical priest. And look. This is what happens when you don't read your Bible. Look at your dumb ass at the front. I ain't got time for childish ass niggas like you, bro.